How to improve your cortisol response? I get this question a lot, almost every other day on social media somewhere, where people are wondering, how do I improve my stress reaction? Like there's just gonna be stress out there. How do I improve how I handle it? How do I get that to, to be less um, stress on my body so that I can move through stressful events overall? Now there can be some things that you use, um, you know, immediately when you feel stressed, things that you can do that can help at that moment. But a lot of your stress response actually comes from your body's defense to stress. Think of it sort of like your immune system. If you have a very strong immune system, you can come into contact with a lot of different things and then not really get as sick or get sick as frequently as somebody who has a low immune response. So it's the same thing with your stress response. If you have been under stress for a really long period of time and haven't built up your stress response, right? Little things are gonna wear on your system. So what things can we do to build up and improve our cortisol response, our stress response here? Well, one of the first things is sleep. Sleep, you need to get regular sleep and you need to have a good circadian rhythm. This is the up and down of cortisol response throughout the day and night. The next thing is going to be getting in enough protein. Protein is one of the number one nutrients that I find women are not getting enough of. And if you get enough protein in, then your body has a natural boost against stress. You have a good defense, a good barrier for any stressors that you would come across. The next thing I love using is red light. This again is gonna help uh, your cortisol response. So building up that reaction to cortisol, building up the you know defense. If there's a stressful event that happens, your system is not gonna get thrown off as much because you're using a red light, because you're helping that circadian rhythm overall day by day by day. And then other things here are deep breathing. This helps your system oxygenate, it helps relax your muscle tissues, it helps blood flow, working on your lymphatic system, all of those things help your physical body calm down. When you are stressed, there is a natural chemical reaction that takes place and it actually forces your systems um, to respond. So your muscles will tighten and everything will react. We want to retrain your physical body to calm down quickly after a stressful event, which you can do which is amazing. So in case I haven't mentioned this already, I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I'm author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that as well as subscribe here on my YouTube channel. That way you stay updated on all the information that I release. Anything that I talk about, you get to know about first because we're going through a lot of this really important stuff. Now, some of this might seem basic, Oh, breathing? Of course I need to breathe. Well, duh. <laughs> but there's a reason behind it. And oftentimes if you know the why behind the what, then you really can stay ahead of everything and really build up that defense to stressors. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about here is tinctures. Tinctures. Now, I have uh, created a line of tinctures uh, to really help your system. Now, this one here, Adrenal Balance, if it'll focus on it, there we go. This one I specifically formulated for the female body, especially to handle stress. Now, one of the first ingredients in here is ashwagandha. One of the main adaptogens that is used in Ayurveda and Chinese medicine to really help your stress response. Now, with ashwagandha, a lot of people don't know that the best way to ingest this is not actually through a capsule, it's actually through uh, your um, skin or you know, like dermally, so getting it in a tincture under your tongue, perfect. Or if you make a tea with ashwagandha root, right, you can have make a tea and sip on that throughout the day, super. But this is a really quick, easy, fantastic way to utilize these adaptogens that help your system, help your stress response. Now this is something that you can use on a regular basis to build up that stress response, that defense, and improve that as well as use in the moment. One of the things that a lot of people have um, trouble with sleeping when you are really, really stressed, taking some of this right before you go to bed helps your system calm down and get into a deeper, more restful sleep. So make sure you're checking this out if you haven't tried it. It is my number one selling tincture, which was a surprise to me. I didn't think it would be, but 
I guess that's how much stress we're all under and how well it works for people. It is the most reordered product by far that I have. So that's what I have for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any other questions or need any other help, assistance, or guidance. You can always leave a comment below, but also check out the great deal that I have right now for tinctures. You're not going to want to miss out.